All right, so I'm gonna be replacing the trackpad on this MacBook Air. There's a 2019 model A1932, 13 inch. So first what we're gonna do is use a P, or sorry, Pentalo 1.2 or a P5 screwdriver, and we're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. You wanna keep them in order because they can be different size, shapes, and lengths. So try not to get them mixed up, all right? All right, so we're just gonna remove the four um, along the hinge, the two out here, and then the four along the front. The threads on the two middle screws are longer, um, even though the screws are about the same size. So again, you don't wanna mix them up, keep them in order. A lot of people, they just throw them in a container and then they put the screws back randomly. Um, that can be dangerous and you can actually damage your computer that way. So try and keep the screws in order. The way I do that is I kind of just lay them out on my desk in the pattern that I remove them. So this rectangular pattern, and then I just put them back in that same pattern, okay? All right, so we're just gonna remove all these screws. Once you get all those screws out, you can pull this cover off from the back here. Just go slow, be careful. I like to slide my fingers over to the side like that while I'm lifting it up and then pull up the cover that way. But there you go, we got the bottom cover off. I'm gonna clean this a little bit because it is kind of dusty. All right. All right, I just use a toothbrush to kind of um, brush off the dust. Usually I would bring this outside and then I have a little air blower that I use. Um, I have this portable one that I can use for inside to when I make the videos. But uh, anyways, put that aside. Okay, once you get this open, you wanna disconnect the battery. So normally you'd wanna shut down the computer. I think this turns itself on. So you kind of wanna be careful with that, but see oh it is turning itself on again so this one their trackpad's broken so i'm just going to hold the power button to turn it off okay so just hold the power button make sure it turns off completely once you turn it off you're going to want to lift up the paper here okay or the plastic and then there's a slight um part that sticks up from here for the battery and I use my fingernail to kind of pull on that so I use that to pull the battery connector out and then you can kind of lift this cable up as you pull it out to get it to clear so that you can completely disconnect it you want to completely pull the battery connector out of that slot you don't want to leave it in there because it might reconnect itself so just like that okay after that, you can open it, press and hold the power button about 10 to 15 seconds to drain any power. Okay. All right. And then this model, it has like a battery um, kind of discharge button. So here there's this little gold piece here. So you want to press that. I use my fingernail. You can use a plastic pry tool. You can actually feel it click. So press and hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, we're gonna see if we can replace the trackpad without taking the cable completely out because this model, if I have to, then I have to pull the whole board out and I wanna avoid doing that. So there's this part, part of the cable's on top and part of it's underneath, um, but I'm gonna try and remove it just from the trackpad itself here, okay? So let's see, I believe these are T5 or maybe T3. I think they're T5 screws. So we're gonna get a T5 bit or a Torx 5, okay? And then we're gonna remove all these screws here. Yeah, it's a T5. Again, keep them in order, different size, shape, and lengths. You wanna make sure you don't get them mixed up, okay? All right, so just remove all these screws. Right. There's two on each corner, and then there's one in the center. Let's just remove all of them. 
Okay, once we got all those screws out, you're going to want to, let's see if I can show this, but going to want to carefully lift the thing up. Be careful because the cable is hanging here. Okay, once you got this lifted up, the thing can kind of slide forward. Oh, actually, one thing you want to do is we're going to peel up this adhesive here. So you want to be very careful peeling this up because you can damage the cable if you're not careful. You don't want to crease it too much or puncture it with anything. Okay. So I don't know, this cable might already be damaged from the liquid, but we'll find out. Okay. So lift that up. Now that we got the cable disconnected, you have a little slack to work with it. I'm going to kind of twist it over to the side a little bit here. And there's a little tab here that you need to flip up. So we'll flip this tab up. Just like that. Once you flip that tab up, we should be able to pull this cable out. Okay. So it is kind of holding somewhat strong. I'm going to use my finger underneath here and try and help pull this cable out. Hmm. That cable is holding really strong. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it out. I might have to completely disassemble it. Let's try. Wow, why is that cable holding so strong? The tab is flipped up. Did they put adhesive on this thing? Oh, they put adhesive. So I'm going to peel up the adhesive by pulling it up. Okay. Pull it up. There we go, and there we go. So we got the trackpad out. Here you can see all this liquid on here, or hopefully you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so there's the liquid, shiny liquid residue there. Okay, so this is the adhesive here that was kind of being annoying. If you want, you can kind of make that adhesive more dirty so it's easier to um, put the new trackpad without it getting stuck. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get the new trackpad. I'm gonna cut this open. out the new trackpad. We want to transfer over, so make sure this little tab is up too. Um, but we want to transfer over the little washers here. So on these pieces, there's actually these little metal washers that we want to remove. If you want, you can just flip it over, but make sure you flip it over on your desk because all these little washers here, you can see one of them, they're like this, super thin, small, and then drop it in there. Okay. So yeah, these washers are a little kind of tough to remove. I don't, one of them is missing. That's weird. All right, so I'm going to flip this over and then just get them off in my hand. Come on. Wait. I'm confused. Oh, I guess, wait. No, it did have them, so. Okay, let's put them in. I don't know where one of them is. One of them is missing. Okay, but right, just get those little washers back on. Okay. All right, so we got that. I'm going to see if I can find that one missing washer. Maybe it fell inside here. Um, this piece is dirty. Oh, I see it got stuck in there. So I think the liquid damage made it stuck. Yep. Okay. So remove that little washer and put that as well. I'm going to clean up the inside here because there is liquid damage in it, so it shouldn't affect the trackpad, um, but I'm going to clean this off anyway, so I'll be back. I'm going to take that and clean it off. All right. All right, so I'm back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some water and clean off that. I cleaned out the dust already, but let's get some water and then let's clean out the sticky stuff inside here. All right, so they spilled, I don't know, some kind of, something kind of syrupy or usually drinks that have sugar in it, it turns really like sticky and gunky afterwards. So I want to be very careful. These kind of liquids are harder to clean up. You have to wipe it and then you have to dry it off and then you have to wipe it again to make sure you get all the 
sticky residue out. If you don't get all that sticky residue out, then when you go to put it again, it'll feel fine for a little bit. And then once it starts drying out completely again, it's going to be sticky all over. Okay. So let's make sure we clean this really well. And hopefully I can plug in that other track pad from here so I don't have to go ahead and completely disassemble this thing. I don't know why Apple designed it like that. It's such a bad design. They designed their stuff that you have to like completely take things apart. It's probably to make the repair cost more and then they just tell people buy a new Mac. It's gonna that all right and then they talk about their iPhones like uh, we didn't include a charger because we're trying to prevent more e-waste but then they make computers that you have to throw them away to make more e-waste so it doesn't make sense anyways got this all right so we got the cable up like this and then again make sure that you got this latch up because now it's going to be more difficult to put this cable back in. You want to be careful not to pull this cable too much. You don't want to damage it. All right. I'm going to have to get a better angle for me to work on this. But hopefully you get the idea. gonna have to wait because I need to finish this all right let me check this okay it looks clean all right so this is the hardest part just getting this cable to go back in get it all lined up okay looks like it's in make sure everything is completely flush on both sides Okay, looks like I got it. And then once you do that, make sure push that latch back down, of course. All right, I think that's in. Now we're gonna put the track pad there. Um, oh, there's a little water residue. I need to make sure it's completely dried. Oops. go and now we're gonna put back the screws so let's start with the center one while I'm holding the track pad up in place with my fingers like this okay and I'm just gonna put it in loosely first so that way I can move it around because I need to make sure it's aligned properly before I tighten down the screws okay put that corner screw in and hopefully the trackpad was the only issue. The cable looked okay, but usually you can't tell until you actually go and install it. Sometimes internally this cable can be damaged from the liquid shorting it out. Okay. All right, and one other trick that I do Okay, because as you can see, the trackpad moves around a lot. So I like to make sure it's perfectly centered. The way I do that is I open this up, okay? And then I try and align this perfectly the way that you want it. All right, and then I get some tape. All right, we're gonna need two pieces of tape. So I do is I get two pieces of tape, I fold over an edge like this, so I can use it as a release tab, and do that on both sides. Okay. And then, again, you get the trackpad lined up. 
Once you have it lined up, hold it in place, get the piece of tape, tape it down just like that. Just like this. All right, that should prevent the trackpad from moving around. Double check it looks centered. Yep, looks good to me. Close it up, flip it over, and now we can tighten down these screws, okay? That's how I make sure that the trackpad is completely lined up. All right, so we got all those screws in. Now we're gonna reconnect the battery. So let me zoom in so you can see that. So basically just lift this plastic piece up. Be careful not to get your screwdriver into the pins for the battery. All right, so hold that plastic tab out of the way and then get the battery, pull this cable back in. All right, and you wanna make sure that the connector goes in straight. So it just, it actually fits between the two silver parts. It doesn't slide under that. And then just get that in, push that in place. And after you um, reconnect everything, this MacBook requires you to actually plug the computer back in to turn it back on. Get the cover, push it down just like that. All right, I've got another customer calling me. Okay. So we're gonna take the charging cable. Yeah, I've got so much junk on my desk now. I need to get rid of this stuff. Okay. All right, get the charging cable. And we're gonna just plug this back in. You can open it up. Usually you can tell it's, oh, let's peel this tape off. Okay, usually you can tell it's working right now. If you click, you don't feel the trackpad moving. So I'll plug this in and hopefully we'll feel the trackpad start moving. Okay, I actually feel it clicking now, so that's a good sign before the trackpad wouldn't work at all. I can actually feel and hear the trackpad clicking now. You can see now the MacBook's turning on. So that's pretty much all there is to it. We're gonna put back the bottom screws. Hopefully this video helped you guys. So as you can see, the mouse is now moving. All right, so I'm gonna shut it down. All right. And the other thing I like to do after changing the computer is to do a PRAM and SMC reset. The SMC reset might not work, but let's try it. So you do control option shift on the left side, power button, and then it didn't do the P, uh, SMC reset because it just turned itself on. So I don't know how you do SMC reset on this model, but we're gonna do a PRAM reset now. So you can just either turn the computer off and turn it back on or restart it. And then on the left, command option and then PNR and just hold those keys down. You'll hear it start up and then the screen will go off and then it should start up again on its own. And that's how you know you did the PRAM reset properly. All right, so we'll just let it sit. It should start up again on its own, come on. There we go. And that's how you know you did the PRAM reset properly. So we're just gonna put back all the screws now and we are good to go. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe, help others find my videos. You're welcome to stay till the end, till I put back all these screws. And yep, thank you for watching. All right, let's put back these. I have a customer outside right now, so I need to hurry with this. But I can only go so fast with putting these screws back in.
All right, there we go. Hopefully this video helped you guys. All right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.